everyone, it's Rachel again from a new corner of my kitchen because we are going to be using the stove top, right? So we're gonna be making marinara sauce today. The great thing about this marinara sauce is it's super versatile. You can use it in ratatouille, pizza, just plain old spaghetti and meatballs, right? You can kind of use it for basically anything. So you might see this video pop up in multiple recipes, but once you learn how to make it, it's actually super easy. Everyone, so we're gonna basically start off pretty easy. Um, here I have my pot and I'm adding two tablespoons of our olive oil into the very bottom. And then I'm going to add about one clove of our garlic to that pot as well. I actually have my quarantine garlic, so it's in a little jar, it's preserved. Um, so I'm just gonna add a couple of those right in there. All right, so basically that's gonna be the starting flavor. Everything else is basically dumping everything into the pot. It's super easy. You just have to simmer this, you dump everything into the pot, and then you're basically golden. It's pretty easy. You can probably hear that amazing sound, which is my garlic absolutely cooking to perfection. So now I'm gonna start adding my fire roasted tomatoes. There we go. That's my first can. Most of the time you can get them in a big 28 ounce can. The only thing that was left was these smaller cans, but they're the exact same. There is no difference. So I'm just going ahead and adding both of those. My can opener you can hear. There we go. Alrighty. And can number two. I love marinara sauce, so just even cooking this is getting me really excited right now. Alright. So it's going to take a little bit until we start to hear that crackle noise again. I'm still going to continue adding things. Um, so now I'm adding my tomato paste. There we go. For me, I always need to go and get a butter knife because this tomato paste never really wants to come out. Adding the tomato paste. This will give it a little bit of a thicker texture while still maintaining that like really tomato-y feel. Um, sometimes if you add a thickener, it just it kind of takes away from the flavor. Luckily, tomato paste is our savior for that. Amazing. And then also keep your eye or ear open um, for my preserves lesson, which will be coming soon because t things that have a tomato base, such as our marinara sauces, our salsas, they are absolutely great for doing a water boil method of canning preserves. So if you make tons of this stuff in bulk, you can basically just keep it forever, right? Well, not forever, but for a really long time. All right. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to add some of our spices. I don't measure when I add spices. I know. I do it by taste. So I'm basically, well first I'm going to turn down the heat to a simmer on this. And then I'm just going to eyeball it. So let's see. I'm, I'm adding Italian seasoning. That's a personal preference of mine. Um, the recipe doesn't call for it, so you definitely don't have to add it. Um, I'm adding basil. I'm adding oregano and I am adding just a little bit of crushed pepper I am going to go back and grab some sugar and some salt all right adding just a tiny bit of salt um, lots of the stuff in here is already pretty heavily salted, so you don't really have to worry about that. A little, little bit of cracked pepper. You can add more for your flavor. And then some sugar. You only want a tiny amount. You do not need that much sugar for marinara sauce. I do about half a tablespoon for most of my marinara sauces. All right, so now that's basically it. So you can just stir together your marinara and then put it on simmer and you can let it simmer anywhere for 15 to 30 minutes. 
most of the time I just let mine simmer until I'm ready to eat it. <laughs> um, so until the rest of my recipe is done, um, which is going to be pretty soon. So enjoy.